Here is the cockpit of a Messerschmitt ME-108. You can see here, um, if you're familiar with the 109's cockpit, there's a few familiar instruments. Um, this plane, of course, has a lot in common with the 109. It has automatic leading edge slats and the same narrow undercarriage. Um, however, the undercarriage is actuated by this ratchet and you move it forward and back um, and it either retracts or extends the landing gear and you change the action by twisting it between ein and aus. These are the rudder pedals. Here's a stick. There's also two seats back here. It's actually quite spacious for how small this airplane is. So most interestingly, just like the 109, this airplane has manually actuated flaps and an adjustable stabilizer. That is done with these two wheels right here. You can see the little chains going to the rear. Um, the inboard one is elevator trim and the outboard one is flap. It's indicated by these indicators here. I'll give you a short demonstration. This is the trim position. You move that back, its aircraft nose up. You can see the indicator changing. If you look carefully, you can see the stabilizer is deflecting down. And if you move this forward, you can see the trim position is now returning back forward as this aircraft nose down. You can pretend this is the nose of the aircraft, it's going down. And the stabilizer is moving up. Let's go ahead and return that back to the position where it was. And in addition to that, we have the flap position that is done with the outboard wheel. down. And these go down all the way to 40 degrees, however, I um, can't really see anything past that from this angle, so I'll go ahead and return them up. So yeah, 109 also had both of these control wheels up until the final K4 production uh, variant. I don't know if they ever decided if they should go with like a electric mechanism like the 190 did, but yeah, this is a very cool piece of history we have here. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this little video. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering what that is on my thumb, it's light blue blue paint that I got on my thumb. So yeah.